Come with me, toy fans. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back as always to the Analog Toys YouTube channel and we've got a restoration video for you today. Um, so last week George Aitken, my good buddy George, sent me another amazing Action Force uh, gift box. Included in that was an almost complete Z Force ATC. Now the Z Force ATC is a Palatoy UK recolour of the GI Joe APC from Hasbro. Um, not only is it a, a recolor, they also modified it, they changed the turret, they added, um, they added a missile rack um, and completely changed the internal design of this toy. Now, I'll say straight off the bat that this today's restoration is not going to be a full restoration of this vehicle because um, I'll take a close up shot of this, but um, the stretcher that goes in the med bay has got one arm missing and I actually I haven't even figured out a way yet of how I'm going to repair that. Potentially, uh, we may not repair it, we may just try to, re to replace it. And also the seat belt strap um, inside this vehicle is also missing. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll quickly show you guys inside. Um, yes, yeah, so inside here, you can see the med bay. Um, I said that's where the stretcher goes. And then there should be a seat belt um, that runs across these four seats here. Uh, that's missing, I don't have that part, so we're not going to be able to replace that in today's video. Um, but some of the issues with, with this vehicle that we're going to try and fix today, um, obviously there's um, uh, someone's had a bit of fun with a, with a paint set, uh, put all kinds of uh, paint marks inside and on top of the, um, the canvas cover, so we're going to try and get those removed. Um, but I think the main thing we're going to show you today um, for anyone who owns an ATC, the connection piece between the missile rack and the turret um, is often broken, it's often missing from the set. Today we're going to show you how to make a, a modified connection piece here using four very simple pieces of Lego. And the effect is, um, it, well, it works really, really well. So if, um, if you take nothing else from this video other than the fact that I'm going to show you how to connect the missile rack to the turret, um, <clears throat> very cheaply, very inexpensive, very easy to do. Um, it's going to be worth watching through to the end. So the first thing we need to do with this restoration is get the vehicle all cleaned up. And the best way to do that is to fully strip it down. Okay, so I need to move the camera around, I need to fill the sink up with some hot soapy water and, uh, and we'll start getting this assembled. All right, so first of all, we're going to um, going to remove all the wheels. Now these should just simply quite easily pull apart. There we go. Now, if I can, now we see uh, there's quite a lot of dirt in these wheels here, so we're going to wash all of those individually. Um, but first of all, we want to take apart the main body of the ATC. There's six screws in the bottom here so hopefully these come out relatively easily. Looks like they are. And I've got a small dish here where I'm going to get the screws. Okay, now we've got all the screws out, this should lift out very easily, there we go. Okay, so the main insert lifts out pretty easy, so this is it here, you can see where the, um, uh, the seatbelt strap is missing, this is the med bay where um, where the stretcher sits. Another pretty cool feature in here, you can see this is um, designed very, very differently to the G.I. Joe one. We have a weapon storage locker here, uh, which is a pretty cool addition. Um, and in the back, obviously, we have the, um, the carrying handle, which can now easily be removed. So, I'm not gonna disassemble it any further than that. What we need to do now is um, 
fill the sink up with some hot soapy water and get scrubbing I suppose. All right, always use, um, always use warm water. I'm gonna have to run the tap a little bit there for the warm water to come through. Uh, I did the dishes just before, so the water's fairly warm already. Generous amount of dishwashing liquid. This is standard for cleaning any um, any plastic toys. Um, hot soapy water, dishwashing liquid. We we'll start off by dropping the um, all the wheels in there. They need a good scrub. Okay. I'm going to use a variety of stuff here, so I've got a toothbrush for getting into the smaller nooks and crannies, but then these wheels are pretty dirty, so I'm actually going to use a much harder uh, sort of nail brush to give these a clean. Okay, I'll skip a lot of that video because you don't need to see me clean six wheels. They're all done the same way with the scrubbing brush. All right, the next bit we're going to tackle is the, um, the main interior of the ATC. Um, this, this isn't exactly dirty, it's just full of a lot of, um, you know, 35 odd years of dust. Um, I want to be careful when I clean this because there's a lot of stickers in here and I don't want to damage them. So the good thing with the Palatoy stickers is they weren't paper, they were a type of vinyl sticker. So they don't actually get too badly damaged in water. If these were paper stickers, um, I would be looking for a different way to actually get this clean. Um, so I'm going to use my small toothbrush here. Much better. Now on to the, um, the lower hole. This actually isn't too bad. Just give this a light scrub everywhere. Front uh, driver's canopy. Right now we get into the really difficult bit, which is all the um, all the painted parts on here. I'm not sure how we're going to go, so we're going to start off just with some dishwashing detergent. Mm, and that really isn't coming off. I'm not sure how we're going to go here. Just scratching at it with my finger now, see if that makes a difference, but it doesn't seem to be. Picking it up with some tweezers. Oh, that's freeing up some of the dirt and gunk. Some of this, this paint here. Hmm. This is not coming off easy. I'm just going to get a butter knife here because this, this isn't too sh I'm using the back edge which isn't too sharp. And these pieces, these bits here just seem to 
to scrape off quite easily. Alright, so it looks like the, the pale blue sections of paint are coming away fairly easily, but the black isn't. The black may actually be marker pen. I'm going to clean up the rest of this. Um, what I can, the, the white and the blue, just by scraping it off, as you can see. It's going to take me a long time, so I'm not going to film this. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to scrape all these bits of paint out that I can get out. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do about the black. Um, then I'm going to put these pieces out to dry, and then we'll move on to how to repair the turret piece. All right, guys. While the other parts of the uh, Z Force ATC are drying outside, I'm going to show you how to make a custom attachment to fit this missile rack, which should, should sit on the back of the turret like so. Um, show you from another angle, should sit like that. Um, on, a, uh, on a pivoting mount. Now, I do believe there is um, an eBay seller who 3D prints these parts, but he doesn't have any for sale at the moment. Um, so I did a bit of a test yesterday and had a muck around and using four small pieces of, um, of Lego, I can easily make an attachment for this. Now, I'll show you a close-up photo of the four parts you'll need. Um, this particular piece here, I would like it to be in green. Um, I'm sure Lego make this in green. If anyone can tell me what this part's called, leave me a, a comment in the section below, because uh, I'd like to get a green one. Um, but what I'm going to do in, in the meantime with this part is uh, just cut up some green tape and, and put some tape around it. Okay, that was a little bit fiddly. Um, I had to do that off camera. Um, but yeah, I've just wrapped a bit of green tape around there. Uh, that way when you see it um, sitting underneath the missile rack, um, the white is not going to stand out. As I said, preferably try and get a, a green one of these. I'd like to buy one, but uh, I've only got a small sort of stash of Lego parts and the only, the, the only part that was the right shape was actually white. So, all right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a standard uh, shovel for a Lego minifigure and we need and we need to cut this down now I can't do this on camera because I actually did this uh, yesterday well, what you want to do is turn the missile rack upside down what I'm going to do I'm going to remove all of the missiles because I don't want to break any while I'm, uh, while I'm handling this I'm going to remove the four missiles there okay on the underside there's a a couple of slots for sort of um, for pins to go in. So all I did, I, I took the shovel, sort of laid it in there ever so slightly, and then with a pair of wire cutters, I snipped it off. I snipped it off slightly oversized so that when it clips in, it clips in sort of nice and tight. Now one end of the shovel is already rounded. Um, with the other end, I just um, I trimmed it a little bit like so with the wire cutters to. To round off the end. You want it about half a mil or a millimetre longer than this section here so that when it snaps in it snaps in tight. Be careful if you cut this too long you can actually break the brackets of the uh, the missile rack. So I'm going to drop it in there and then there. See that and that snaps into place. Let's get you a good look at that. So that Lego shovel now snaps in there very, very easily. Now the other parts we're going to need. So we're going to take our sort of our green claw that we've got here and then just a standard Lego pole. Again, it's probably in green, but black doesn't look too bad and you, you're barely going to see this anyway. So fit that into the claw like so. Very simple. Then you'll see the... Um, the hole here at the back of the turret, this is where the mount should go in. I'm going to drop that through and then using 
very very fiddly small lego this is a very um bog standard lego piece it's used in a lot of sets you can all see that there once this drops in um, we're going to fit this part onto the pole and push it all the way through till it's nice and tight now i've used a, a slightly over length piece of pole this now allows me to actually have a mini handle underneath and when you sort of see the turret displayed um, you don't notice it but you're able to turn this okay very very simple now guys we're now going to fit the missiles into the missile rack i don't know how well you can see this these are actually um these are actually numbered uh, i have a bit of ocd so i want these to go in in order missile one missile two Whoop, that's number four, OCD. Missile number three, missile number four. Once we've got the missile rack there, we've got our claw. All we simply need to do is centralize this piece here and snap it in. And look at that. The turret now turns, the missile rack pivots up and down. How's that for a simple way to repair the, uh, the missile rack on the ATC turret? That's just tremendous. I'm really happy with the way that's turned out. All right, guys, it's very hot here in Australia today, as usual, so it hasn't taken very long at all um, for all these pieces to dry outside on the uh, in the heat out on the balcony. Um, now we need to reassemble this part. So uh, reassemble like the main uh, uh, the main chassis of the vehicle. So uh, first of all, we've got to drop the um, the tow bar back into place at the back there, and these pieces sit around here where do these go exactly i'm going to muck this up i think oh. okay so there is there's a slight groove on the side here that's where these pieces go and these are sort of supports for the front canopy so we're going to drop this in like so Okay, now we just need to replace the six screws. I'm going to start at the front because I want to secure these, uh, these brackets first. Very simple. Anyway, if you don't know how to screw screws in using a screwdriver, I wouldn't attempt this. <laughs> it's really not difficult. Um, I do find sometimes when I'm repairing like G.I. Joe figures and the like, sometimes the, um, the screws can get um, really bound up and really tight and very difficult to remove. Um, and in that scenario, um, Never try to force it because you can actually um, sort of round out the head of the screw and then you'll never get it out. If you're really struggling to remove the screw from the back of a GI Joe because it's too tight, um, boil some water, put it into a bowl, um, put the GI Joe figure's torso into, the, um, into that bowl, um, let it heat up for a few minutes and then have another go. Normally the, the, heat, the heat in the boiling water will make the GI Joe torso expand and normally um, freeze up the screw. All right, so the rear carrying handle looks like it's in um, all functioning correctly. Um, I'm not going to put the stretcher into the med bay yet. I think the next stage we're going to do is replace the wheels. So I can just uh, put each axle through. Once 
once they're through then you just push the um, push the wheel onto the other side and actually you can almost feel them sort of clip into place. Okay, we're getting there. This, a, this Z Force ATC is looking much better. We now need to fit the stretcher in there. As I said, we are, we're missing the seatbelt. I'm going to try and replace that. And rather than try and repair this, I may try and find another stretcher. That's going to be a very, very difficult piece to repair. Um, maybe Dave at Toy Polloi can help me out with something there. Maybe he's got a good idea of how to repair it. Right, then um, the front driver's canopy just drops in like so. So you, you'll see there's a couple of small hooks at the front. You locate those first and then roll it back. That's looking good. Now, we still have this issue here. I've tried everything, I can't get it removed. We're gonna go and paint this. Okay, I'm not, um, I'm not exactly a modeling expert. Uh, I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use an enamel paint simply because if I don't like the look of it, I know this is gonna be easy to remove. So I've just got some, got some Tamiya um, X18, which is um, semi-gloss black. Um, some Tamiya enamel paint thinners and this is a brand new bottle, so brand new small jar of paint. Give it a good shake. I've just laid down some kitchen cloth here so I don't get any paint on the towel. We'll see how we go. Let's see how this looks. Colour match is pretty good. I think semi-gloss is the right colour to be using here. Now, overall, I think that's looking pretty good. When that dries, I don't think you're really going to notice that too much. I might just do a little bit more down here. We're looking good, looking very good. Okay guys, it is a shame that we couldn't get this all removed, but with the paint, um, with the paint on there now, it's much less noticeable the, uh, the damage that was on there. So we fit the canopy in place by the side clips. Now the canopy's in place, and then we just need. I have to reach around, grab the turret, and grab the turret. There's three clips that hold that in place. Just gently press it in. And there we go, we have a Z-Force turret with a moving missile rack. So, I may do a part two of this restoration. Um, I don't know, it just depends whether I want to tackle repairing the stretcher or not. I probably won't. Um, I'm going to look to get a repaired seatbelt and try and just replace the stretcher. And there you have it, a almost fully restored Z-Force ATC. This is a gorgeous gorgeous vehicle um i'm so thankful to george aitken for donating this to the channel this has been um, a holy grail piece for some time for me um of course the other holy grail piece um from z force is the z force headquarters which yeah i'm sort of pipe dreams of that i think i've probably got more chance of owning a ussss flag than i have the z force headquarters but um yeah th this is a holy grail piece ticked off the um, collection once list. Um, 
looks just incredible. I'm sure we're going to at some stage be able to replace the stretcher and the um, the seat belt. Um, if this eBay seller that does the um, the reproduction uh, rocket mounts, if he if he sells any again, I'll definitely be picking one up. Um, but for the meantime, I'm I'm very pleased with the way this has has turned out. Fully functional, looks good, um, and is a brilliant substitute so yeah thanks again to george for donating this to the channel thank you all for watching um i hope if you have a z force atc and the um the missile rack connector is broken or missing um you can sort of follow these instructions and very simply get it repaired so um all right thank you all for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video coming soon i think all right cheers